Hey guys, it's Tara by Tess, doing a weekend reading, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, you know, everybody's talking about the Scorpio new moon, so I guess that's why this weekend is important. Um, if you want to research it, go ahead. Um, I don't really put much significance on uh, anything of that nature, so... coming up for all zodiac signs for this weekend, which also is the Scorpio New Moon. Okay, hold on. Alright, so we have the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is a deceptive card in this case. And this card wanted to come out so bad, you guys. For whatever reason, it was the only card um, face up in my deck. And I noticed it while I was shuffling. Don't know how it got there, but could have been left over from another reading. But I've since cut. Um, and when I cut, this time it fell out, but it fell out in reverse. Also, Temperance is reversed, or Sagittarius. It could be somebody you're dealing with. I do see a lot of imbalance, a lot of restriction. Not in a moderation kind of way, but there's just an overkill of it. I feel like someone's getting out of a relationship that's stifling. Um, this could be for Sagittarius, or it could be with a Sagittarius. I think Sagittarians got this card before, as well as um, Scorpios, like a while back. So maybe it's just now playing out. Um, but... I feel like it's infidelity and secrets. And Sag, if you were dealing with a Scorpio and you had secrets, well, you just better be prepared. <laughs> Especially if it was unfaithfulness. Okay, but somebody's still not able to move on. Um, this talks about the need to physically move in order to break some kind of a bond. And I think someone else is not willing to give this a go, even though they're, they're hanging on. They just don't have closure over this yet, is what I'm seeing. Now, this may not have happened, okay? Um, but obviously, since it's a weekend reading, you would not have closure over this if it hasn't happened yet. Um, or if it's recently happened, you're dealing with these feelings that have recently come up. Okay, so now we have the chariot reversed. So we have two zodiac signs in reverse, Cancer and Sagittarius. So you may be dealing with these two kinds of signs. Um, or again, somebody's not able to go anywhere. Something is not moving forward, um, which is what I'm seeing here. I feel like a relationship is ending. Um, and there's an imbalance of emotions regarding this. It's just it's a dead end. I think that's why it's ending. Or if you're dealing with both a Sagittarius and a Cancer, then for Sagittarius, you're just, it's done. You're not going to forgive this person because they betrayed you. Um, or, you know, Sagittarius, this could be you as well. Um, and if you're also dealing with a Cancer, then perhaps you just don't see it going anywhere. Or you can't see eye to eye. There's too much conflict. wanted to come out. Oh, but guess what? There's a new opportunity coming. It's the right path. It's getting back on the right path. To me, this is coming in from out of the cold. It's reconciliation with someone from your past, an ex. Okay? Um, and this time, it's going to be better. When you take the five, add one to it, it becomes six of pentacles, and that's equal give and take. Definitely. However, in order to get this new opportunity, Five of Pentacles reverses go back to Four of Pentacles. Or if you have five and you take away one, you have four. Four of Pentacles is holding on. So one, you're going to have to let go. Let go of a relationship. Two, let go of reservation is what I see. 
that you're coming in from out of the cold or you're allowing somebody else to come in from the cold. And it's back on the right path is what the pentacles are saying. And it's going to bring happiness. And I feel as if with the pentacle here, I mean, we could have gotten the ace of cups and I would have said the same thing. However, with the pentacle here, I feel like there is a lot of sexuality involved here. Um, because the pentacles represent earth and earth is very physical. Okay. I mean, that's, that's where we originate from, from. It's very human. It's very base. Okay. Nine of Swords reversed. Um, coming out. Yeah. You're going to confront something. Maybe you don't want to. But I'm seeing this time, if you have to confront something. Wow. I'm talking like I was in Scorpio's bonus reading. I think they actually had this card. Um, so yeah, if you do have to confront something, I'm seeing it will not be a nightmare, okay? You're going to get out of a depression or guilt or shame, especially over anything that was Seven of Swords related. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. I got this in a personal reading earlier for me. <laughs> so you're going to have stability. I think also some of you uh, are going to, well, you're going to a higher level talk a higher level of commitment it's true um, but it looks like it's with someone from your past but that five of pentacles reversed and I feel you'll be very secure this is also a happy good surprise some of you may be dealing with a wedding of some sort um, I'm also getting any kind of an event a party so, birthday party, wedding, uh, bar, bat, mitzvah, whatever it is, what an event that you're going to. Now, this is only going to be for the weekend. This is not holidays, okay? Um, I'm seeing that may have some kind of significance with this. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little clarification. Let's see what else wants to come out for this whole reading. of pentacles now these don't come out in reverse so because we have both I do think you're this is about having been left out in the past um, and you're coming back or you're having to let one person go and go back to another some of you are going back home to a dysfunctional family knew it was somebody from the past or family. Six of Cups. So you're going back to someone from your past, guys, or going back to family. But do be careful because travel looks like it's uh, not good. Because um, we do have the chariot reverse. So if you're traveling by vehicle, something could happen. Uh, not to scare anybody. And then Six of Swords is reverse, which is also a no-go with travel. And then we do have the Seven of Swords, which is a movement card, but it's sneaky, so it's unexpected. Let's see, it's on the bottom. Oh, wrong way. The World. World is also a travel card. Now, I saw it in reverse because I pulled it the wrong way. Um, however, it was meant to be upright. Um, so I do think there's some traveling, but you're going to get closure, is what this says. It also says embrace. So again, open up, embrace. Um, this is all going to work out. Never fear. Tarot by Tess is here. <laughs> okay, I'm done being cheesy. Let's see. Get some love advice for you guys. And 
I think some of you are just going to get a hug. You need a hug. I just get that feeling. You may get it at an event. And you're just feeling alone, yeah. That five of pentacles, you're feeling all alone. And so you need to get out. That's why that four of wands is here too. It also says there's a good surprise coming. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so some of you are going to a wedding. That's why it's here. Or it involves a marriage. Some of you are leaving a marriage and going to someone else. But I have Ten of Pentacles reversed, which tells me end of marriage. And then I have Four of Wands. So I don't know if you're deciding to end a relationship that's like a marriage where you live together. Because um, this can be a house. Um, so can Five of Pentacles, actually. Or, so that might be why the Five of Pentacles is here. You're feeling all alone in a house. Um, yeah, or if you're ending one marriage slash relationship and going into another. Either way, I feel like there's some kind of a really long-term commitment and there's an event. Finances and career, okay, that has something to do with this. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. With the Five of Pentacles, both, and Ten of Pentacles, reversed. Well, Ten of Pentacles is reversed. Five of Pentacles is upright. Both of those speak of huge losses. Um, perhaps you didn't get the donation you wanted from family, or perhaps the Cancer or Sagittarius um, is no longer a source of income. Or maybe you were with a cancer and they kind of were like your sugar mama, sugar daddy. And now that they're, you're not with them, you don't have that. Um, and maybe you realize the Sagittarius um, just doesn't have a, a high income anyway, so you really can't go for them either. Not as like in a relationship, but you just can't depend on them in monetarily. Um, so that may be a factor. You may be wanting to get more financially stable before you um, offer commitment, a higher commitment, or that may be going on before you receive it. Um, and maybe it just has something to do with weddings. Oop. Okay, let's see what else there is. Attraction, okay. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I don't know which way I pulled it. I always pull these in reverse on accident, so we'll just say trust is in here. It could be there's a lack of trust because the Seven of Swords is in here. Um, and so there's, you may just not trust anybody from what I'm seeing here. But you are going to end up engaging with someone from your past or with family. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your weekend slash new moon in Scorpio reading and not that I even know what any of that means um, and I hope you just fare well <laughs> all right guys good luck